All right, guys, it's the last day in this apartment and we are moving out and heading to San Francisco. And I don't know how I'm gonna fit everything in my Prius, but somehow I'll figure it out. Goodbye, apartment. This is what you look like when you have done like 20 trips to the car of three flights of stairs and you're super tired because you've been up since 6.30. But I finally have all my stuff up here. There's a lot, but we'll be spending the rest of the night sorting through it. All right, guys, it's the moment you've been waiting for. I finished unpacking last night and I just got ready because I'm gonna go to CorgiCon with my brother and his girlfriends. So it's gonna be a really fun day. Um, but first, I'm gonna show you guys a really quick tour of the apartment. Um, so I'm sitting in front of these beautiful bay windows. You'll be able to see them later. But um, here are my plants, and I have some pictures of my friends, and me and my mom, and my stepsister, and some books. And these books all have to do with design, um, which my sister got for me. And I'm planning on reading those. Here is the room. So the room came furnished, which was super nice. And here I am. And there's the bachelorette. <laughs> um, and then there's my closet. And back here is the mirror and some stuff, more stuff. And then I'm gonna put this cooler um, in my car later. So yeah, it's really nice. I like it a lot and like these windows are to die for. Like if you look out the window, there's a really beautiful view. I'll show you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm super happy. Uh, I was driving up here and I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to go to San Francisco and like be away from all my friends. Um, Cause I literally know like no one here other than my friend Jocelyn who lives in Union City. Um, and so I'm totally gonna just be chilling here by myself. But I'm really excited to like focus on work and hopefully get my portfolio done. So it'll be a summer of lot of like getting things done you know um and I'm excited to like explore the city and eat a bunch of ethnic and like different food because slow has no like it's all just like white people food um so I'm like super excited to and I get to focus on YouTube which I've been wanting to do for so long and I feel like I just never have the time because editing takes so long so I'm excited to be able to like actually do this um this summer and like actually put a lot of effort into it um, so yeah, I'm going to film at CorgiCon in a little bit, and, uh, yeah, I'm so excited. I've always wanted to go to a Corgi meetup, so it's going to, it's happening at Ocean Beach in San Francisco. What day is it? Ah! I don't know. Is it the 21st? No, what day is it? Oh, it's CorgiCon! <laughs> it's Corgi Beach Day! Corgi Beach! Oh, fuck. <laughs> I really screwed this up. <laughs> What day is it? What day is it? It's Corgi Day. No, it's Corgi Beach Day. <laughs> Not Corgi Con. Where are we? Where are we? Thank you. 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 Th
Yes. We are now getting ice cream. Oh, I got sunburns. Oh yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I told you to put on sunscreen. <laughs> it's so good. I got mango sticky rice, the uh, gen, gen micha, micha, and I got the Hong Kong milk tea. Guys, guess where I just went? Whole Foods. So I'm going to do a mini haul from stuff that I got at Whole Foods. It was just like weird being there. <laughs> I don't know, it was weird like I was by myself and stuff, which I usually grocery shop by, my, by myself, but this time it like felt different because I wasn't surrounded by like a billion college students. Um, and I also today went to Everlane, but I will talk about that in a little bit. So I got some kale because um, I just finished finals and I feel like I've been eating like really horribly. So now I'm trying to catch up and eat better. So um, some of this is going to be going with me to work on Monday, like the carrots, and then I'll probably bring banana with me. And yeah, I got fruit, and I have never tried this before, but I really like the packaging. And then I got this cheese, and these croutons, and this cool vegan dressing that I'm excited to try. Um, yeah, I got those three things because I'm going to make, like, a Caesar salad out of these two things. I feel like our main lettuce, like, doesn't really do anything for you, so that's why I got kale, too. Um, I actually don't know the science behind that, so don't take my word for it. Um, and then I wanted to get cauliflower rice, but it was like five bucks. I just got like the two dollar cauliflower things. And I got this pasta, which is super cheap. I feel like some stuff at, Tra or at Whole Foods is like super cheap or like really expensive. Um, nectarines, apples, um, yeah. Also, did you know that if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get 10% off sales signs, which is cool because I think a few of the things I got was 10% off. I think I saved like a dollar fifty, but that's still a dollar fifty though. So yes, that is the Whole Foods haul, and now I'm going to put it away. Okay, so the video has coming to an end as Saturday comes to an end. I moved in yesterday, and I would say it was a pretty successful first day in the city. Um, I started off the day going to Corgi Beach Day, which parking took forever to find. Um, shout out to Hana for finding parking. Um, and then after Corgi Beach Day, we went to... Um, Papito's Prochero Hill and um, we got amazing food. We got a burrito that had fried chicken in it and some quesadillas and that was super good. And I'll put a picture right here because it was amazing. And then after that we went to, well we were kind of already like next to the mission. And so we went to the mission um, and we walked around, like shopped a little bit. I think I found like literally the best jeans that I have ever owned and they actually weren't that expensive like for a good pair of jeans I think it was $73 and that was after tax um and I love this little like booklet that they had there um about the mission and it is this thing called local favorites but here are the jeans what I really like about them is that they're really high waisted so you can't even see my belly button and then um I like how like flat the zipper is because I feel like some of high waisted stuff it like sticks out a ton um, and so this doesn't do that which is really nice um, and then these are a straight ankle um, and I've been looking for jeans like this that are kind of like boyfriend girlfriend fit um, and these were like perfect and they're not even called boyfriend jeans they were just called like straight leg um. all right guys that concludes my first video diary in San Francisco and I hope you really liked it um, I know this is really just my family and friends watching, but, um, you never know where this is gonna go, okay? <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>